everyone, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. I'm just here to pop down a card for the day for you. We're having a little shuffle of the Fork of the Tarot deck. Just to um, mix them up a little bit and see what we've got in store for us today. Let's have a little look and see what's happening. Okay, our card for today is the Four of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Pentacles, we've had this quite a lot recently, um, and I've got it again today. So they're obviously trying to bang a message home here somewhere. Um, the Four of Pentacles is all about investment um, in, in yourself and in your future, okay? So it can be financial, can be talking about keeping your eye on the pennies, and I think we're all in January now, which is a very long month for quite a lot of people. Um, it's an awful lot of month left at the end of the money. Quite a lot of people get paid early in December and then we're left with the whole of January plus a bit. OK, so it could be asking you to look at that and to be um, a little bit sensible about what's going on with your money. Um, not here to kind of advise you financially. Trust me, you wouldn't want my advice on that. Um, but the card is asking you to look at it and be sensible about what you're doing. OK, so the um, energy of the four of pentacles is about um, kind of it can be about caution. It can be it certainly is about not taking action without thinking it through and without kind of giving it due attention. Um, but it also talks about. Um, you being able to invest in yourself okay so when i'm looking at like a general card for the day it tends to be that meaning of it that is given to me and that's what they're saying at the moment is this is a month to really start to look at how you take care of yourself and i think a lot of us do that in january anyway don't we we all start thinking about what we're eating what we're drinking and all the rest of it um and as I was saying yesterday, you know, making little changes can make a real difference. Things like drinking more water, add a bit of fruit into your diet. You know, I'm not saying go crazy, you know, just add an apple here and there. It's not difficult. Um, just to put some vitamins in to your body and, and to kind of eat. I always kind of feel like this time, don't know what about you, but this time of year for me, um, I kind of feel like I want to eat stuff that's fresh. Um, and it may be because you kind of got a little bit mince pied out. Um, everything's been very rich, creamy, um, custardy, uh, quite heavy in terms of food. So I'm kind of drawn to um, wanting fruit and um, wanting things that have got like a light, fresh taste. Um, I've just bought one of those infuser things. I've had one for a while, but... Um, Mum was getting very old and I bought a new one um, just because I think after a while those things tend to get those little mouldy bits inside them and you can never get rid of them. Um, so I kind of decided that I had to go and got myself a new one. And um, what you do is you kind of slice up things like strawberries, limes, lemons, put them into the centre section of the infuser and then fill it with water. A, make sure water a little bit more interesting. And it just seems to give like a sort of zingy freshness to it, which I quite like at this time of year. When it's just, it's almost just to cut through all those treats and chocolates and stuff like that. Um, now I've still got loads of treats and things hanging over. And um, that's all good. I um, will delve into my treats and have a little treat a day until they're gone. Um, I'll share them out with people that come and 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 stuff so you know they will still be used up I'm not just going to chuck them away and waste them um but I think it's nice to start to have flavors and things that start to cut through that and I think lemon limes fruit that sort of and that sort of thing is very good for that um okay so not a medical expert or a dietitian by any stretch of the imagination this is just basic things that I find help me out. Um, so, you know, you guys do what you feel is best for you diet wise or, or get an expert to help you out if you're concerned about it. Um, but I kind of feel like that's a bit of an investment in me is to be um, 
a little bit more mindful about what I'm putting into my system. Okay, so I'm just going to have a little look at the Energy Oracle card for the day. Um, since we've got that Four of Pentacles that is saying to us, it's time to take care of yourself, invest in yourself, look after yourself. Um, generally, be mindful of, of serving your own highest purpose, I think, is really the best way of summing it up. So I'm going to pop down the Energy Oracle card for the day. Just see what that's got to say for us. Okay. Oh, lovely. Now this is Daughter Romance. So, it kind of speaks for itself, really. I don't feel like I really need to, to explain any more than that. The Daughter Romance is exactly that. The door to romance. Um, it's about having an open heart and an open... Although this is a, a heart card, it's it's also about having an open mind, you know, just being, you can see in the card there's a little cage there and it is about kind of unlocking that door, unlocking the, the door to allow yourself to grow and develop. Now that may be love, this card seems to just to suggest it is um, and it, it may be other things in your life, um, but it's about being open to that energy really um whether it's romance that you're interested in or whether it's something else i was listening to the radio yesterday i had a really interesting thing which was that today i think we're on third january aren't we um is predicted to be the biggest day for numbers of people signing into dating sites registering with dating sites um and kind of starting to look through profiles, um, people looking for love and that kind of thing. Um, so it's interesting that that door to romance has come up today um, because it was a story that I heard on the news yesterday and it does have that energy for us in January. Quite often we start reevaluating, don't we? Do we want to be single still? Do we want to look for somebody else? Are we ending a relationship? Are we moving into something new? Um, lots of good stuff in there all i would say to you is take on board what the four of pentacles is saying as well and do put yourself first okay um don't compromise look for the best that you can look for if what you're looking for is love then then look look for someone that is going to be serving your highest purpose don't compromise and um go for something that might not be quite right for you um yeah i kind of feel like it's about building yourself up really and um yeah there's a big emphasis on on looking for new love and stuff and of course we're all hurtling towards i know this seems like a mad thing to say we're all hurtling towards um february when there's going to be you know valentine's day and and all the rest of that good stuff um you know people people very keen to be in a relationship before valentine's day comes around um, all I would say to you is be open and um, send out love to the universe and it, will, it can't help but send it back to you. Um, if you love yourself and your friends and your family and you show love, then it can't help but return it to you. Um, and all I would say on the whole Valentine's thing is don't give yourself a time scale and just trust that the right person's coming in at the right time. I know that sounds like an absolutely massive cop out, but that's the reality of it, I think. Um, I do believe the right person arrives at the right time. Um, even if that person is there to teach you that actually it's okay to be on your own for a while. Um, so be open, be open to the guidance that the universe sends you. They're sending it to you all the time. Everything that happens to you is a piece of guidance that comes from the universe sometimes it's not comfortable sometimes we don't like it sometimes it's showing us what we don't need and what we don't want okay that's okay feels uncomfortable feels like rubbish but it's useful to us because we know not to be looking for that type of person again or to be allowing somebody to behave in that way towards us so we start to love ourselves respect ourselves um expect the very best for ourselves and then the universe can can go on ahead and give it to us um i will leave that with you for today that's kind of 
the law of attraction that is working with that i will be doing a little bit more with the law of attraction um a bit later in the week probably i'm just feeling like i need to use the energy cards at the moment um so i'll leave that with you for now i'll be putting this up on my youtube channel um so you can replay it again there i know you can replay it through periscope as well if you want to um if you come and have a look at my youtube channel which is crystal sparkles um have a little subscribe there um i've got some tarot card unboxings a little bit later and um this week um and i'm hoping to get a yearly forecast up there by the end of this week um so that will all be up there um and i've got a little giveaway to subscribers coming up um probably towards the end of this week maybe the weekend around about that sort of time scale um so do come along and subscribe there you can also find me on facebook um if you want to it's crystal sparkles readings is my page there um be lovely to have a chat with you there i'm quite happy to interact with people through my page um or through my facebook if you want to leave a comment on there that's lovely um thank you very much for listening i should be back again tomorrow to do another card for the day in the meantime have a good day enjoy the romance and don't forget to start investing in yourself bye for now